And yes, I'm still wearing my robe. Drinking a little bit of pre-workout. Because I'm tired, a little hungover. Anyway, part two, putting these motors on here. I'm using these little LED boards. So these motor wires are actually gonna solder on this one end onto the uh, LED board and then I'll solder another section of wires off the other end of the LED board over to the 4-in-1 ESC. That's the way I'm doing it. I'm wiring all four motors into each of these four ESCs, 4-in-1 ESC. It's um, my Mamba stack. Anyway, that's one way of doing it. Other people oftentimes have four separate ESCs and you have to solder your wires motor wires to each separate ESC. But this way is a good way of doing it because you don't, if you have a real bad crash, you don't have the wires ripping and tugging on your e 4 and one ESC. They're a little bit more expensive. So, you know, there's less, less ability to transfer damage into the flight controller and ESC stack center of your drone. Plus, they're badass little LED lights. They should look pretty cool. I think I have purple. Um, should be pretty badass. But let's get into it. So what I'm gonna do first, is I'll explain my overview right now. I'm going to show you, I'm gonna put the screw on here, and just attach one screw, and then lay out exactly how long of wires I'm gonna need. And I'll snip the wires, then I'll unscrew the screw and tin these wires with it off of the drone, and then I'll put it all back. Now one thing, you do, it's not great to kind of unscrew and screw these motor screws in and out multiple times, because if you look, there is Loctite on these screws, and it's supposed to be put in once and then the Loctite sets after it's kind of activated when you're screwing it in and out. But I think it'll be all right, so. All right, let's get to it. Put this one in here. I'm just gonna push that through. Another thing, so this thing has got four screws. So we got four different places we can put it in. So you're not gonna wanna put it with the motor wire sticking straight out because that would just be stupid. You're not gonna wanna put them 90 degrees because that would look kinda weird. You're gonna wanna put the motor wires obviously coming out laying with the arm of the frame. That's kind of a duh. But you know we know with some people. And I gotta say, I love just kind of spinning these motors because it feels so good. Sounds kind of weird. Boop, 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 boop. All right, so I'm gonna line that up and just look through the holes and see that the other ones are lined up so that will be the way that it lies exactly. Now what I'm gonna do is head over here. I'm gonna mark where I want this. So I kind of want to, I want the LEDs out. Well, you know, I kind of want it fairly centered, I think. Let's put it right about there, let's say. Now I'm gonna let the wires just kind of fall over. This will be the way that I solder them on here. So it's looking like we're gonna want, let's see. We're gonna want them cut about Something like that, so I've got that mark. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually, I'm not gonna do this for every single arm. It'll be close enough. I'm just gonna take these, the length of these wires and compare it to the other ones. And you know, if you were doing a longer one, you could leave the motor on here, but because it's so short and right up against the frame, I just want this to lie on it perfectly. I'm gonna put it down. And my soldering iron is, I didn't turn on. Good. Dumbass. All right, now it should, okay, red light, duh. Now it should be getting up. All right, and as you can see, I'm still getting into this. But we'll get there. Just spin that. Mm. You need to see in beta flight settings, you can count how many motors there are. Count the magnets on the outside. Not count how many motors there are. 14 motors. You'll see that in settings in beta flight in a few different places. Um, all right. Got those wires cut and save these because you're gonna need them. We're gonna need them to go from LED into the into the ESC. Now I'm going to strip these wires 
Only struck about two millimeters or so. I've got So we got all three. Now, what's the first thing we need to do when we're tinting these wires? Well, we first need to twist them. Get it so there's no stragglers, no strand wires. Now for soldering, I have tried two things. And I've got, sorry. I've tried two things to help me out with soldering before. We got this little alligator dude. Mr. Alligator Man with little alligator clips. Good for, great, great for clipping onto wires and soldering with wires and tangling with wires. Then when I'm trying to solder onto the pads on the ESC and all that, um, good tip I found online of using mounting putty. You can kind of just push it, form it however you want, and then you can just take your pad and basically have it, just push it in your mounting putty, and it holds onto it while you solder works pretty good. Um, but I'm going to use the alligator clips right now because we're tinning up this wire. So let's do that. Is this hot now? Look at that. When you turn it on, it gets hot. Cool. All right, let's tin these wires. All right, bang, bang. We're going to knock these out real quick. Um, I'm using 6337 rosin core solder. Um, should be the best stuff, from what I understand. thick 6337 rosin core solder what we're gonna do is just put the soldering gun behind the wire you can turn the temperature down a little bit it doesn't need to be cranked for this I'm right around 375 soldering gun heat up a little bit more so now what we're gonna do is tin the wires on the motor here I also move the camera to get you a little bit closer hopefully that helps Maybe I can... there we go that's a little bit better okay clear working area what we're gonna do is heat this wire up and hot top some solder on the top of it. Then I want to heat up the wire. Once you see it glisten in the wire, you know you're good. <laughs> 